Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to your December 1st daily reading. I am introducing daily readings back into the channel beginning today. They will be every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They will be short and they will not be for everyone. So just know that. Take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. It's for December 1st, 2020. So we have the Three of Coins, the Six of Cups, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. <laughs> so we have some Pisces out there, because this is <laughs> we always get these two cards for Pisces. Oh my goodness, how funny. I know that like about 60% of my viewers are Piscinians, so would not surprise me if this is for a Pisces. We have the shark. And on the love front, we have free yourself. All right. And so signs that I see on the board, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Capricorn. But you don't need to be dealing with those signs, just, just to be aware of that. So on the love front for December 1st, 2020, for some of you, there's going to be a focus on releasing yourself from a relationship, releasing yourself from a preconceived notion, releasing yourself from an expectation, releasing yourself from worries and fears, releasing yourself from obsessive thoughts, releasing yourself from an abusive situation. There's so many possibilities that will be different for all of you, but for some of you, there's gonna be a focus on removing some aspect of your life that is not serving you. We have shark, which is purpose. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because this is water energy, but and it's card number 36, which is a nine, which is almost to a point of completion. Perhaps you're coming to a point of completion with regards to a relationship and releasing yourself from that. With shark, this says purpose. So whether you're working on your career or you're working on some other aspect of your life, they're saying do so with the intent that you will be successful. Do so with the intent that you will achieve what you're trying to achieve. Do so with purpose. The energy for December 1st is the Three of Coins, collaboration. Finding a way to work with another individual, whether this is on a personal front, family front, friendship, career. There's a focus on working together to accomplish a common task, a common goal. Could be two people working together on a common goal, a common focus. Now your theme for the day, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups, a strong sense of nostalgia, a strong sense of being caught up in your memories, caught up in your thoughts, whether they be positive or negative, there's a desire to return to the past. And perhaps that's why we have free yourself here as well. There's a desire to return to either a, a former career or a former idea about moving forward in your life or a former uh, thought or a firm, former person. You could be picking up the phone and calling an old friend you haven't talked to in a while. Could be picking up the phone and calling a family member. For those of you dealing with twin flames, there could be a focus on union and reunion. For those of you dealing with love, there could be a focus on love and, and connection. For those of you dealing with career, you could be talking to an old friend about work. For some of you, this free yourself with our Six of Cups here and our King of Cups here, it could be that for some of you, there's a need to release 
an idea or a hope that you're going to be moving forward with someone in order for you to start in a new direction, in order for you to move in a new direction. Your challenge is the King of Cup or King of Wands. So the challenge is actually taking action to free yourself from this situation, to move forward with purpose, to collaborate with someone, to connect with someone you haven't seen in a while. Taking action is the challenge. That's either you or someone else. The challenge could also be keeping your emotions in check. Some of you may experience some frustration, some difficulties with this King of Wands energy, especially with our Nine of Wands here. Now the Nine of Wands is in your advice, the position of your advice. The Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance, of not giving up. Maybe there's something happening in your life that you're being focused on an aspect in the past that may have been wonderful and happy and beautiful, but now you're going through some difficulties and you're being told, don't give up just yet. Things aren't quite over yet. Things aren't quite ready for you to, to move on. But yet at the same time, you're being told, free yourself on a romantic front and move forward with purpose. If you've been dealing with a, a great number of emotions in the past couple weeks, the King of Cups is saying now is the time to get control of those emotions. The outcome shows that you will get control of how you're feeling. You'll be able to see things clearly. You'll be able to discover what needs to occur in your life next, to determine your direction, to determine the next steps. If you're wanting to express how you feel towards someone, you will have the, the strength and the inspiration to do so. If you've been wanting to work on a job that you love or put focus in on, on a new hobby or something of that that makes your your heart happy, your soul happy, excuse the, out, the exterior noise, I'm on a large street, then you will have the ability to do so. If you're working on a career situation and there's a group of you working together, there does appear to be some sort of memory from the past that's going to help you moving forward, but someone's being a little bit difficult along the process. So the advice that we often get from this Three of Coins card is to focus on each other's strengths and not on each other's weaknesses. Focus on, on how you can work together to highlight those strengths instead of focusing on the things that might not be going well, the things that may be difficult. To put behind you the struggles that have occurred. To free yourself from some sort of situation on a romantic front. To be able to work cohesively together with purpose to create forward movement. We have contentment moving forward. We have happiness moving forward. We have love moving forward. We have a beautiful energy here with the King of Cups as your overall outcome as you move through the next few days. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it there. Love and light to you, y'all. I'll see you again soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.